a little bit of a motivation for everyone so they can get their project going <laughs> well this one is for me i always think that this is good it looked good with the turbo on it and everything but no this one will stay in a yeah maybe next time i just got back from auto parts store and i picked up a replacement parts for this timing belt this is a used timing belt that i was uh showing you guys uh, this is for my uh, mocking things up purposes or mock up purposes only yeah i'm gonna put a new one on there which is the last episode that you guys watch one of my viewers he was asking about how much it costs to build one of these i know i have been preaching a lot about the g23 on how to build this thing but i never did mention anything about the prices on on how much this thing cost me <laughs> it's just like any other build but this one have gotten into a little bit of a, the prices went up a little it's because of now you can buy some more parts for this some company actually made a parts for a g-series now so which is a plus i say hey yeah it will really help out a lot of guys and new beginners that wanted to get into this game that they don't have to fabricate things like the water pump the cooling pipes the head plugs so it's really it's up to you but i'm gonna come up with the prices i am going to start with the build that is something that you could buy that you don't have to do a lot of fabrication less fabrication less headache i'm gonna start with that this build is perfect for this question you know why it's because of i practically didn't build or change a whole lot of parts on this one i am basically using a oe valve springs oe h23a blue top camshafts i think it has the same lobes uh, profile as the uh, h22a4 i know the uh, the obd1 is different because it has a different part number on it so i don't think they're the same so basically nothing but more like a piston upgrade all i use is a k20a2 piston that has 11.5 to 1 comp ratio in my estimation it will put out 195 200 plus wheels horsepower that is right out of the box so i'm just going to talk about just the motor alone when it comes to the injectors and all that those are it's all up to you all the best money can buy first you need the block which is you need the f23 block this happens to be a four from f23 a1 all the way to seven you can use those block you can use the internals except for the piston if you go to the junkyard i'm not sure how much the short block will cost you or just the block but I know the, the cost of the whole motor, it costs about $600 nowadays. So you start from there. I got this block for $200. The cylinder head, the last one that I was showing you guys, it cost me $140 together with the uh, valve cover. The camshafts are included, everything for $140. It's just too bad that one camshaft broke. So... I only got one but I paid for the whole set the thermostat housing that cost me 10 bucks or $11 you can see it in there on the on their uh, websites head gasket use a Honda OE head gasket which can cost you around 90 something dollars ship buy the head gasket online you can save a lot when you buy things online and also get the uh, a few items 
from Honda also, which is, I got the oil pump here. If you are using your balance shafts, you need a seal here. You need seal there. This costs around $18 at uh, local auto parts. You need new seals here. The new seal here, that one too. So on the oil pump alone, you need like one, two, three, four, five, five seals. But I always buy those seals the internals, like this one, the O-rings from uh, Honda, because it lasts longer. This one here, you can buy this at your local auto parts, or you can buy this through eBay. Get the whole pack, it's a package. There's a whole lot of items in there that you're never gonna use, but something like this, you can use it. The rear main seals, which cost like $20. The water pump, you can get it from uh, KS June, which is going to cost you $140. The plug on the head, KS June also, it's going to cost you $49. Cooling pipes, if you want to use the uh, truck tough, so you don't have to do all this, that's going to cost you $164. And what else I can uh, think of here. So once I tally that up at the end of this uh, episode, you will see it. Well, some of this, uh, some of the bling bling parts that I put on, I just want it to be on there. But this is just basic build on this block. Cam seals. Those, I think it costs like $20 on your local auto parts. You need to get these plugs. This one comes, all this seal, this one, camshafts, the front main seal, the rear main seal, and some of the uh, few items goes on the pump. It's included on there, so it's up to you if you wanna use that. But I'd rather use a Honda when it comes to something like this. If you are deleting your balance shafts, then you don't have to worry about any of those except for this one right here because you need to uh, seal this up. This is your main oil supply. This one is okay because those are plugged just like I have shown you when I was deleting my balance shafts. So it should not cost you more than uh, $1,500 I think for everything, but I could be wrong. Compared to a K-series build, <laughs> yeah, it's a win-win. Someone has just left a message that he's got one of these G23 and it made 269 wheels horsepower. That's very impressive. But that's on a 94 octane. We only have 91 octane here. But my job here is not to build a whole lot of a horsepower motor. My job here is to show you it's your idea or it's your imagination to make it powerful. Mine is all about reliability. <laughs> okay? I wanna enjoy it. <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't mean to sound it like that. It's very reliable motor. It's just, it's us, it's what makes it unreliable. If you really put your heads into it when you put it all together correctly, the main thing is the connecting rods. Make sure that you pay attention on that connecting rods because that is the number one headache on this one because it has a tendency of spinning the bearings. And you know why, right? It's because of us. Because we rev this thing to the moon. That's the problem. The motor, it can handle it, but it's just we are abusing it. So just make sure that the connecting rods are all within specs. Hopefully you'll find the... Uh, the cost and how to build this thing to be very somewhat competitive to a K-series and all that, it will give you a, a good power. Yeah, if you like, you can get it ported and everything and use like a 70 millimeter uh, throttle body and have it tuned on E85 and you're good to go. Me, myself, <laughs> right here, this is my uh, answer to my questions. But don't strap a turbo on it and expect 
an OE connecting rods and a cast piston to last on you it's just not gonna it's not gonna play that game no you must upgrade your bottom end yeah that's the uh, the key and always use a good ECU and a wastegate and a fuel injectors you'll be good to go thanks for watching I'll see you guys back <laughs>